Hi folks, welcome back. What we're going to do in this uh, video here is show you a way you can uh, boost your body's electric uh, field uh, using magnets and uh, a couple of pieces of uh, uh, different metals and a, a ferrite uh, core. So, and that's what I've got made right here. And what it's made out of is this is neodymium uh, magnets in 48 or something like that and this is a a, a ferrite uh, toroid uh, coil uh, core and another magnet and plus a uh, plus a uh, a, uh, a washer. Uh, this is a zinc one, I think, or stainless steel. I'm not sure. One of the two. But uh, in, in other metals will work. I, I tried uh, aluminum and uh, uh, brass and stuff, uh, and stainless steel, and uh, they all work. Just depends on whatever voltage potential you get. But what I found works the best is this arrangement right here, where you put your washer on the outside and then a magnet then the ferrite coil, coil uh, core and then another magnet and then a piece of copper on the end of it right there okay now uh, this is not a battery it's just you're just creating a magnetic field but what do we do with that magnetic field that counts now I'm going to touch the electrodes on here and you see we get zero zero volts right nothing Zada zilch. Okay. Now, if you if you uh, if I touch the electrodes myself, you can see that I'm creating a voltage that's jumping around some, and you see it's negative right now. And if I switch these around, then I get voltage, and it's positive. So my right hand is positive, and my left hand is negative. Okay. This coil here. I'm making a circuit basically with my with my hands here. I have a positive and a negative in my hand, and the circuit is actually through my body and back around to the other hand. And so they're already up to almost up to uh, 0.9. Now the average person supposedly has about uh, 70 uh, milli volts of electricity in their body. And if I wet it, if I wet my fingers and and touch this, I would get a uh, higher higher voltage too. So these there's a dry. Uh, if I put this in my hand, it's easier. Actually, let's use this one right here. That way I can just hold it. Now we're at 170, 180, 200, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 70, 80, 90. There's 300 millivolts. So we're like four, four or five times above the average body voltage right now, and still climbing. And we're at three, 350, 360. 370, 380, 390. All right, there's 400 millivolts. I mean, that's way above the average body voltage right there. I've, I've already let this climb up over half a volt and if I uh, wet my fingers and put on there it'll go even higher and I probably, it's probably going to be limited to whatever voltage potential you got between the copper and your uh, zinc or uh, stainless steel or whatever on there I see now we're almost up to 450 there's 450 climbing slower now see but that's way above normal body temperature or temperature uh, body voltage now you say well why would you want to do that uh, and one reason is that because 
Um, healthy people usually have higher uh, voltage than sick people and young people have higher voltage than old people so you know you, you can obviously see that as you get older you're and sicker your body voltage drops so this should improve improve your health and what I like about it is real small and it would be great as a little meditation thing you just wrap a piece of tape or a tube or something around it and you could just sit there in meditation and put your fingers on it like that to complete the circuit and uh, and know that you're increasing your uh, your voltage in your body while you're meditating and uh, uh, the reason I'm uh, even investigating this is because uh, it, it's good it's good for uh, irradiation um, uh, they're fighting fight radiation like microwaves and and cosmic rays and stuff we're getting bombarded right now from uh, from space with uh, a lot more radiation of uh, ultraviolet gamma rays and and uh, and hydrogen um, proton plasma uh, because we're going into grand solar uh, minimum and so the sun's magnetic field is weaker and our planet's magnetic field is weakening in preparation for a pole flip so uh, and because we don't have those electromagnetic fields uh, protecting us we're getting more radiation so uh, and and this by increasing your, your body's voltage you can handle more of those like positive ions in the in the uh, in the air and uh, so I also want to um, I want to work on uh, grounding too is is important. I mean, the, the reason it's important to ground is we're, we as we get bombarded with all this uh, hydrogen plasma from the sun. Uh, when you when you ground, the, the, your your body picks up electrons from the ground and uh, cancels out some of that uh, some of those positive uh, ions. We know that negative ions are good for your health, so you you want to boost the amount of negative. Uh, uh, ions in your in your body so uh, and this is a good way to do it and this grounding uh, uh, grounding cord right here that I've got I'm going to modify it there's one improvement you can make one improvement you can make to your grounds uh, you can take a diode and and uh, put it between uh, in your cord in your line coming in so that way you can only absorb electrons out of the ground and you can't uh, you can't lose any to the ground, which is, and without a diode, the, the power can go whichever way it needs to go. So uh, if you put a diode in there, you can force the electrons, you can force your body just to pull the electrons out of the ground. And so I'm going to do that uh, w with this right here. And, uh, and then you take a thumbtack, you take one of these thumbtacks right here, and I'll, I'll cut this cable short right here. It's got a real long cable on it, but you, you cut the cable short, and then uh, and then stick the wire, uh, the thumbtack through the wire, and then you can just uh, shove the thumbtack in the bottom of your shoe, and that gives you a ground, and the wire comes up and uh, wraps around your uh, your ankle here. And uh, the other possible thing that we could do we do with this is I've got a, a frequency generator here. It's just a single channel. Uh, and it's got three or four wave uh, forms that I can I can make with it, but I can take that and I can plug that uh, into this uh, into this right here, and uh, and then adjust the frequencies so I can uh, if I can get a resonant frequency. There's some frequencies are uh, would be more beneficial than than other frequencies. So. Uh, Anyway, so that's uh, what I'm planning to do is to play around with the, some of this stuff and, and increase my uh, my radiation uh, protection some. I've already got my my trailer. I've got a Faraday cage built completely around the, the trailer, and I can close the, the windows and everything off on it, and it's uh, and sealed up pretty nice. And the, the aluminum goes all the way down to the ground. And uh, I've also built a magnetic field on my bed and I'll do another video about that because um, you can another way you can protect yourself from radiation is to make a magnetic field to have a magnetic field around your body and so I've got a really cool one that I've uh, built on my bed I took a cross metal steel cross 
under underneath the mattress and then I built, bent up the ends of it and I've got big deodidium magnets on either ends with the north pointing in because that's the, the healing uh, more of the healing side they say and then um, and then I've got a another hoop of steel that goes over the top of it and connects down to the side arms of, of the thing so then I just crawl in that under that little hoop and I've got uh, magnets deodidium I got about 50 deodidium magnets spread up uh, along on the cross and, and on the hoop going over it all north uh, faced in and uh, I swear I've never slept better in my life than I do uh, with it in that magnetic field and so but anyway uh, one of the things that uh, is pretty interesting about that there's a lot of people selling magnetic jewelry and that kind of stuff because it's, you, you can see that the magnets definitely influence your uh, your body uh, because we're electromagnetic uh, creatures so but what I've learned from this is that if you're going to buy if you're going to buy one of those uh, the bracelets or whatever with the magnets in it you know uh, you it will like this right here just holding it in your hand uh, will boost your power all by itself but if you could touch both sides like this that's when you get the most uh, boost out of it what I would do with if I had a, 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 a magnetic bracelet I would if I wanted to use it I would touch the other side of the magnet or, and maybe uh, put a metal uh, you know put some metal contacts on either side of it that are of different metals so that you can get it because this doesn't work if you if, if you change if you don't have two different metals on this it does not work at all I mean uh, and I can take it off and show you that if you want but I think we're about out of uh, out of room so this is the combination that works the best and I also found that if you're just using one deodidium magnet and uh, and the ferrite uh, core and then the uh, copper and the and the uh, washer on there if you're just using it with one magnet it's I it works better if you put these plastic spacers in there okay between the, uh, the your metal and the magnet okay and but if you're using two for some reason you don't have to have the spacers and it works just as fine just as good so I don't I have no idea why that's the case but that it, that's what I've discovered on this so far so uh, anyway this is kind of uh, exciting for me because uh, uh, I've, I've been working on my health and I've already been using magnets to some extent and I and I know that they work because I can I can tell a difference in how I feel and stuff so and then uh, discovering that I can boost my uh, body's electrical uh, potential with a uh, with these magnets like this uh, I, I'm certainly going to uh, explore doing that I don't know we'll, I'll find out what the uh, what the effects are and there would probably be physical, mental, and uh, emotional effect. Uh, I'm going to also uh, tie this into uh, to a bio cell, to a battery too, and see what uh, kind of effect the uh, the uh, magnetic field has uh, on the battery. Especially now that I know that I can modify this with uh, with metals. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.